Mary Magdalene, 888 Gateway, August 7, 2015. As the soul of Magdalene re-enters the spirit of the goddess through a submerging of infinity law with unity law, we are witnessing a call for the goddesses to arise out of the ashes like the phoenix. Mary Magdalene has been present deep within and around us these days. How can we not notice her presence lately, as she comes forth with such a power of emergence? Wow to that! Almost during every reading and session, as well as in my personal life, has Magdalene been so present and coming forth in such a strong way. She told me that she is here to call forth the goddesses of light and to awaken these in their human incarnation. Now that we are entering the 888 gateway, her goddess presence is even stronger present as it is the Magdalene gateway that is upon us now. I see her placing roses in the hearts of men, to awaken the compassion and new emotions while for women she is calling forth the goddesses here present on earth to awaken in their shell. It is time, she says. This is what she shared in one of the readings a few days ago. The goddesses of light are called to come out and play with their forces and strength of power. This is a unity coming around again and partaking in the collective ascension process as the goddesses and the keepers of this divine lineage. It is time for the elders of the goddess templates of light, to shine their lights and inflame their torches with fire. You will help to enlighten the world of who you goddesses are, and what you came here to be and do. Magdalene is instructing the goddesses to be present now in their full glory and to allow their refined feminine energy to arise. This is a very profound and spiritual alignment, co-created with the Syrian forces of light and the Elohim temples of the sun. As you can see, this portal and momentum is all about unification of both sides, all you see as opposites, polarities. Such as masculine and feminine, matter and antimatter, light and dark, higher reality and denser reality, positive and negative. This all through the energy of inspiration and creativity the sacred feminine goddess powers. Mary Magdalene Follow the path of the instructions laid by you as a foundation. This foundation is the bed you lay on and trust upon as you set your first steps into motion. The heart is the speaker of this foundation, as it knows all its secrets. Let the speaker be the one that rules you into motion, and be the one that chooses to move consciously by heart. Find the Holy Grail within your own beingness for it lies there. It is not to be seen by anybody else than you, and it is not to be found anywhere else but within you. The Holy Grail is your profound wisdom and knowledge obtained by the experiences of lifetime after lifetime. The Holy Grail is all that you are, your immortality and spirit. It has many instructions, yet it is infinite and has no boundaries to set these rules upon. The only rule it has is the rule to open the heart in allowance and to vibrate in the knowing by heart, love, and compassion. Without love and compassion one cannot access the holy grail within. Compassion lies on the bed of the foundation which is the vibration of knowing oneself and allowing another to know themselves as well. Her beautiful presence is such a compassionate energy of a cosmic keeper. I have always felt her as a gentle and sensitive presence, but now her beautiful goddess side emerges, and a beautiful force of power is being reflected as her cosmic nature. Her energy inspires, heals, empowers, and aligns you with the nature of truth and love. What a blessing for her presence! Mary Magdalene I am here to awaken the goddesses of light, those who are present on this earth, for it is time to ascend in this course of unification. It is time to unify the spirit of the goddesses, and to inspire the masculine energies to do the same for all. Masculine energies will help the feminine energies to bring forth the unification into a manifested reality. So first, we, as the goddesses, inspire, and then we move along the lineages of our ancestors to unify towards a great global ascension along with the god-masculine forces. There lies so much power within the womb of creation which is a female energy, that this is why we are calling for the goddesses to awaken, activate, and play their role in this unification process. The unification of creation and manifest, female and male, this through the portal of the goddess which allows birth of creation to be set free. 
There are forces of light at play here that are of a cosmic vibration, realigning all within to their own forces of potential and creation towards the light of unification. You may feel prompted to inspire many onto your beloved planet. Do so and follow that sacred fire within. Some goddesses are called to unify with their spirit within and follow their path of journey which will bring forth the realignment with the goddess template under the eye of Sirius. Other goddesses are called to bring forth the unification with their own template into the limbs of the masculine wounded, allowing to heal and allowing creation. Many goddesses are called to play their roles, which are crucial, into the areas they feel guided to be in. Many others will venture home on the inner space alone. It is your journey to take upon and feel, as the emerging of the goddess within will keep you grounded and informed of your destiny. Let your wings take you where you are destined to be in this time frame and continuing on. Do not be afraid of your own inner wisdom of power, for only then will you fly to your destiny as you keep on spreading your beautiful wings. I am here to heal, I am here to clear wounds, I am here to share love and compassion unconditionally. I am here to awaken, I am here to call you all to your divine essence, I am here to remind you, I am here to awaken, I am here to be in unity with each and every one of you. My capsule of love is one of treasure. A treasure which lies embedded deep within your own hearts. You beautiful men out there, as I place a rose within your heart, I am awakening the captivity of your spirit alignment with Source and set your emotions free to feel and understand love on a whole other level. I am setting free emotions of fear and old wounds that have captivated you and the fear of emotions and love. This with the embrace of compassion, something that is a true nature of yourself as well. You beautiful women out there, you are truly gifted goddesses, and your time has come to awaken that potential within you and to arise. Stand up and make yourselves tall, make yourselves noticeable for all in the world, and walk your path of what you speak about and are. Your forces are counted on right now as you help the beautiful men and masculine energies to be embraced. You are showing the light to all now as you are called to lead in this momentum and bring the power from within you. You enlighten the hearts and the world with your illuminated flame, for you have no fear of emotions and inner heart feelings. Now shine what lies within the heart, all of you, and embrace the motion of your heart feelings. Encourage others to do the same so that you can all stand into your own power of beingness and embrace the many wounds to be healed. Cosmic power is behind this all, as it flushes out the many emotions as they come about. Processing the many things in your lives as they come and arise, with the power of knowing by heart and illuminating truth of unity through the defining of embrace. I love you. Mary Magdalene. Channeled by Meline Portia Lafont. www.melinelafont.com. Pleiadidolphininfos.blogspot.com.